Hello and welcome to PCI Tech TV. Geomatica 2013 improves the way you work with large projects and achieves high quality results for your image processing projects in record time. Today we're going to look at Geomatica Discover, a new tool which has been developed by PCI Geomatics. The Geomatica 2013 software release aims to streamline your workflow like never before. Increasingly, projects include large volumes of imagery, which presents many challenges. Geomatica Discover is a web-based data discovery tool that crawls your local or system drives to automatically create footprints for geospatial raster and vector data. The interface allows for map-based or advanced text-based querying, allowing you to quickly and efficiently discover your data holdings, helping you to organize your production workflow. As you can see, Geomatica Discover is a web-based tool. I have it loaded here in Google Chrome, but other browsers such as Mozilla Firefox or Internet Explorer could also be used. In addition to other types of browsers, the fact that it's web-based means that it also works on other platforms such as Linux. The interface is quite simple and intuitive. Over here on the left, we have a sidebar. This is used primarily to perform key operations such as importing data, building sets, saving searches, viewing image thumbnails, and so on. The other key area that you're going to be using is the search bar. So this allows you to enter in text-based searches as well as apply filters for searching specific data sets. The next part of the interface is the table where all of the records stored in our database are going to be displayed in this area. The other key area is the map which will display the footprints of the data that we find on our system and also based on the current selection that we have in the Geomatica Discover tool. With the increase in data volumes and just the growth of data repositories, it becomes a real challenge to understand what imagery we have and what the geographical coverage of that imagery is. I've got an example here of imagery that I store in my system and you can see that unless I browse into each one of these folders and maybe load those into a viewer like Focus and understand what the coverage is, it's going to be quite a chore to understand all of the different images that I have and whether they overlap or, uh, or if they're adjacent to each other and so on. What I want to do is import this folder into Geomatica Discover, which is going to allow me to view the footprints of these images as well as browse and filter through all of the metadata that's going to get imported through Geomatica Discover. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this folder and I'm going to switch to Geomatica Discover and I'm going to start a new import. I'll give this a logical name and I'll go ahead and click Import. Now you'll see that as I import the table starts to populate with some key information. So I've got uh, some information on the scene, on the acquisition date, the resolution, and you can also see that footprints are getting drawn on the map as I'm importing the imagery. Within just a few seconds we've been able to import all of that data into Geomatica Discover and we can perform some further searches to find out what imagery we have in that folder. So I'm going to show you a little bit on how we can search this data now and filter through some of the imagery that we have on our uh, on our map. So I can search uh, just with the text string. So for example, if I'm looking for a particular type of data, say for example RadarSat, then I can just enter that text string and essentially Discover has gone through all of the different uh, fields found within the database to find out anything that has RadarSat in any of the fields, as well as it's filtered out any results that don't have RadarSat on the map. So I can zoom in to these particular locations. So for example, if I go here, now it's filtering again. So I've got, uh, essentially, it looks like I have some RadarSat imagery of the flooding in the Red River in Manitoba. And if I go over here to this location near Los Angeles, it looks like I've got some uh, some different radar sat images uh, just outside of Los Angeles, California. Now, if I want to clear that, I just uh, delete uh, this uh, particular text string and hit enter, and I'm back to my complete uh, database. The other way that I can search for this uh, data is quite intuitive, and it's essentially just using the map. So in the uh, search toolbar, I currently have the area set as the map border defining the selection. And uh, what I want to do is I want to basically keep all of the records in the table that meet the query. 
So if I start to, uh, if I want to filter out uh, maybe all of these images here, I'm only interested in uh, the images that I have over Australia. So if I start zooming into Australia, you'll see that the table is updating in real time. And as I start going in closer, again, it's refreshing. So as I'm zooming and also as I'm panning, I'm going to pan so that that top image uh, disappears out of the view and you'll see that it filters it out. So I can keep doing this and it's very intuitive. Essentially what it's doing is it's uh, grabbing the uh, corner coordinates from the uh, from the map view and uh, using that as the search criteria as I'm panning and zooming. So if I zoom back out to the world then I'm uh, left with uh, all of the records in my database. That's quite a nice way to search for data over a given geographic location. There's other options with the map so we can basically draw a polygon or a rectangle and uh, that will basically select only the uh, images that fall within that area. So for example, if I go back to uh, my, uh, my Australia, I can uh, essentially digitize a polygon over this location and uh, I have the same result. So another nice thing with Geomatica Discover is the ability to take a look at the metadata for a particular record in the database. Uh, so I'm going to go and select one particular image here. So this is a, a rapid eye image over uh, California and I've got all this information available so I know that uh, basically this is the RapidEye platform uh, the sensor type is a uh, multi-spectral it's uh, giving me the uh, acquisition date I know that there's three bands within this image and I've also got a, an idea of size so another nice feature with uh, Geomatica Discover is the ability to combine searches um, so for example if I'm trying to do a particular uh, project with uh, two different types of sensors um, I can essentially search for that directly within here. So I'm going to enter radar, then I'll put a, an asterisk, and then I'll also put or rapid. So I'm looking for any radar sat or rapid eye data um, that overlaps the same location. So if I go ahead and I hit enter, um, it looks like I've got uh, three possibilities for that. Actually, more than that. So I've got uh, four different possibilities. If I zoom into uh, some of these areas here, so if I zoom in over California, I can actually see that there is a uh, radar sat scene that's underneath here. It's just underneath this big swath. So this is the rapid eye scene, uh, this one here, and this is the radar sat scene underneath. Uh, so it's quite a nice way to try to locate imagery over the same location from two different types of sensors. Now if I want to keep track of these different searches and maybe uh, use them at a later date, for example, if I'm building something with, uh, as, a, as I showed earlier, a radar sat and rapid eye imagery together, I can actually save that search as well as locate the imagery on, on my drive so that I can start working on my project. So I'm going to once again enter my search. So I'm looking for radar or rapid. I'm going to search for that. I'm going to zoom in to my location where I was earlier and I'm going to select the, the uh, rapid eye image and I'm also going to select the radar set image and I'm going to add that to a set. So I'm going to call this radar and rapid and there you have it. Now if I need to locate where those images are on disk I can essentially just uh, click on the record here and I've got the exact uh, location of that file and same thing here. So I can get to work on my project much more easily now that I've been able to find these images and uh, that's really the benefit of Geomatica Discover is to crawl your uh, data repository and uh, organize things before you get started with your large projects. So thanks very much for watching this episode of PCI Tech TV. Subscribe to our channel to get more updates on PCI Geomatics technology.